everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my mini vlogmas number 12. So I have been putting this off all day. I had had a million opportunities to do this earlier today and I just didn't want to. It was like, this is like the end of a series for me. It's going to be my last Scentsy treat. It's going to be my last special cup of coffee. It's going to be my last little bottle of wine. And so I was really sad, but you know, all good things come to an end and tomorrow is Christmas and yeah. And I want to I want to have a glass of wine before I go to bed, and and it's getting late, so I need to have uh, my coffee and my wine. So I thought I might as well get along on with it. So anyway, instead of dressing up in a crazy getup, I am wearing my Christmas pajamas. These are the uh, I think these ones are from Mucklux. So they are this buffalo plaid, nice soft velour with a black just a crew neck top and velour and I match this blanket. So here you go. And because I do have a sleepover date, I wanted to dress up for him. So I've got my Touchstone Crystal by Swarovski on. I picked up all the loose shoes, any loose papers that I could find on the floor, any little things that I might have dropped while putting up the Christmas tree, any hooks and things so nothing would get in his little paws. Yeah, I'm talking about my neighbor. I'm talking about Mr. Griffin. I got him for a couple of days, so I am so wicked excited to have him. He's out napping in the guest room because he likes that because he can look out the window. My, my bedroom looks out into the back and there's nothing going on. He likes the front room because he can look out the window. So I'm hoping he makes an appearance. But anyway, to stop my vlog, and again, I just want to thank you all for joining me. This has been so much fun. And so anyway, this the last tree is the sad looking. So this one is White Christmas. And you know when after that first time that I had so much trouble getting out and I went boom right and hit the webcam and things, I thought, you know, I could never make that shot again if I tried. And I thought, well, you know, it's the last the last day of my mini vlog mess. I got one left. What damage could it possibly do, right? So we're going to try it and see if it comes out with that force and goes across the room or if it just goes bloop like a dud. So anyway, let's try this and then I will go make my coffee and be right back. Alrighty, so how did I do that? So here we go. White Christmas. Coffee. Cake up. Here it comes. Okay, so I went for the distance. Alrighty, I'm going to go uh, make my coffee and I'll be right back. Well, he may be a flight risk, but I got him. Come on, Griff. Let's see if I can get his hat. Uh, here he is. Do you see his little face? You see, he is such a good boy. Let me see if I can put the camera down a little bit. Here he is. He's my puppy friend. Ready? Can I have a kiss? No kisses? There you go. Good boy. I love having Mr. Griffin over. He is so much fun. So anyway, let me get this back up so you can see a little bit of my hat. Alrighty, so I got my coffee. And this um is a white chocolate and hazelnut this white Christmas. And I just put in some of the uh, coffee creamer. Uh, the Italian sweet cream. It's very good. Sorry, buddy. I only brought you one. I had to, I had to lure him out with a treat. He's such a good boy. So good. Alrighty, so we don't ramble on for too much longer. Let's do our Scentsy. <sighs> so sad. Number 12 is right here. I'm so glad you came out. It's my star. And this is Best in Snow. And I think I've had this one before. Maybe as a sample. Of course, it doesn't always want to focus, so I'm not going to really fight with it too much. But Best in Snow. And it's a nice little winter fragrance. So this one, it's, um, and I know I kind of described this one last night in one of them too, but, so I smell evergreen, so not, not balsam, not pine, but a different kind of evergreen. It's very light and it's more minty, um, not peppermint. Could be wintergreen, could be spearmint. So the, the mint is stronger and like a breath of fresh air. So just very, very nice. So I love doing that one. And I'm gonna get up on the couch. Alrighty, and we've got number 12 right here with star on it. Alrighty, and let me 
be. Well, I don't know where to put it without making a mess. There. And again, this one, this box I had was from that website. And they took pre-orders, and I think they only made so many as what was ordered. And then they didn't start shipping them out till like the mid to end of November, because it was like the 12-day Advent calendar. So you didn't really have to have it till the middle of the month. But anyway, that was the website. Um, I would definitely do it again. I would really like it if maybe next year they did sweeter wines. So, or, or if anybody knows one that's like a sweet wine, that would be good because that's more my alley. Alrighty, so this one's in Zinfandel. It's from California, and it's called Renee. And some Zinfandels are like a really, really light pink. This one almost looks like a purpley red. So let's see what it says. So it says Renee Old Wine Zinfandel. It says it's produced by an award-winning winemaker and featured on the cover of Wine Spectator. This is one of the most complex wines in our countdown, hence why we left it to the, to, until last. This bold old vine, Zinfandel, grown on a 105-year-old vines, has an array of flavors complemented with the flavors from an oak barrel it aged in. You can expect tannins with a dark chocolate base. To get the most out of your wine, Make sure to let it open for 10 to 15 minutes. And this is from 2019 from California. Cherry, plum, blueberry, cedar, and spice. It says the sweetness is medium to low, so maybe that medium will be more my alley. Acidity says medium to high, but it doesn't look like there's any citrus in it. Tannins are high. Body is full. Alcohol is high. And pairing guide. It says roasted lamb baked beans, barbecue ribs, flashlights, and Christmas stories. I need like one of those things, a flashlight under here to make me look like Silence of the Lamb Sky, telling Christmas horror stories. Alrighty, alrighty, so let's check this baby out. And instead of my wine glass, I got this uh, fancy martini glass, because yeah, Nancy likes to pretend she's fancy. And I pre-opened it too, so you wouldn't see me struggle. But sometimes it sticks again. Alrighty. So it does smell nice and fruity. I'm always worried about this because I've got white carpet. Alrighty, so just put a little in here because I want to drink my coffee. Alrighty, so cheers everybody. Merry Christmas. Um, I wish you the best wishes for the happiest, merriest Christmas of all times and best wishes for a happy and healthy new year. And, um, so cheers, everybody. Let me have a sip and tell you what I think. It is dry, but it is um, it's on the sweeter side of dry, and I can tell the see, tell the fruits. So I, I like the Zinfandel. I would definitely have this again. Alrighty. So thanks again for joining me. I hope everybody uh, has a sweet. Of that sugar plum dreams and the fairies come and everybody loves what they got for Christmas and there's no family fights, no drama, just just happiness. And he's always asleep over there. I don't know if I can pan you over there. I covered up my there. I covered up my couch over there with a little sheet just to try to keep some puppy. I don't want to say it too loud because I don't want to offend them. But anyway, thanks again for joining me. Um, I appreciate you more than you know. I hope you give this video a thumbs up. I would love to read your comments and comment on comment on them someday. Um, yeah, I'm behind. You know I am. But you know that I love you and I appreciate you. And again, Merry Christmas, everyone. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.